What's up, everybody? It's your man Rico, the brand man. Welcome to Chill Q Customs, man. Come on in. Damn, what's your pull up in that wag? Deal a paper tag. And I'm a shit in no rip the feds ass. You ask me how I did it, I can show you. But just grind, take some time. If you're rushing, it's gon' float you. Let it mow you, take the wins with the loss. Daily life when you a motherfucking boss, yeah. I'm CEO and owner here at QLQ Customs. We provide all of your customization needs. Everything small to bulk orders. We are wholesale licensed. We do embroidery, sublimation, vinyl, direct-to-garment, screen printing, and newly direct-to-film. And we also do cut and sew too. So if you need to get your brand up and going, you need some for a one-off, you need some for a birthday party, anniversary, family reunion, contact QLQ Customs. We'll get you right. Best pricing in town. Getting a lot of inquiries still for that, but it came to a point where everybody was like, I want embroidery, I want embroidery, I want embroidery. And I had no idea what embroidery was. I didn't know the first, I didn't even know how it, I'm just now learning how to sew. Like, yeah. yeah, like a few months ago, I started learning how to sew. So I had no idea even what to do with embroidery, to be honest with you. And she came in, I didn't turn it on for a month. No lie. I was nervous. Because I didn't want it. I just spent eighteen thousand dollars on the sheet, and the last thing I want to do is mess it up. Work. So, so I took I took a little bit of time. I did have to go through training. I did have to go through onboarding as well too, uh, before I could even start like doing anything because certain certain stuff would void my warranty on my machine. Uh, so I would say in March of twenty twenty one is when I first, uh, I first turned my machine on to hats, beanies, pants, uh, making my actual own patches as well too. Yeah. All of that kind of came, you know, came with getting just one, one machine. So it was like a, it was, it was the same business, but it was kind of like a new line of business with everything. And then, man, it has, from there, it's kind of been just, I get so many inquiries on so many different things to do now. Like literally every every week is every other week I would say is, hey, can you do this? And it's like, yeah, I can do it. You know, and I like to be able to tell that I can do it now. I was working on an order. It was over the weekend, and I had an issue with uh, with my machine. Yeah. A lot of know a lot of people probably won't know it, but um, there's a rotary hook in the machine itself. And it's, the, and it's what spins in times for your needle going up and down. So as this spins, your needle's going up and down. Right. So if this is off by any little bit amount of seconds or like that, the needle hits it and breaks. So, <laughs> so literally, it's crazy. I'll show, I wanna show, I, I wanna show the camera. Yep. I wanna show the camera if I can. So this is, this is a hole for the needle right there. Right? That's the hole for the needle. In here, I'll make it spin real quick. You can put it around there. That's the rotary hook. Now watch this. Now if that is not timed perfectly, it will hit, it will hit the top of that metal piece and it'll break. And that was the <laughs> that was the uh, issue that I had ran into uh, this one particular day. Um, I had absolutely no idea how to fix it. Uh, my customer support for my machine is gone for the weekend. Yeah. And I have an order that's due Sunday. It's, this is Friday, and my order is due for the Sunday. And so I had to I had to reach out to a lot of people in my community in my community of embroidery. So I'm part of a lot of groups that do it as well too. And so I was telling the issue that I was having, and literally only one person out of a few thousand in the groups that I'm in was like, I know the issue that you're having is with your rotary hook. And I was like, I'm sorry, what's a rotary hook? <laughs> I'm still new at this point. I'm like, I'm sorry, what's a rotary hook? 
And so he explained it. There was an actual tutorial video um, that he knew of that he sent me over. And no joke, it took probably about 12 hours. To get it right. To get it right. And it was literally just adjusting, tightening, adjusting, tightening, adjusting, tightening. And I, that was probably the most, that was probably the hardest order that I've had to do. Like that was probably the, the most stress that I've ever been like doing embroidery all by itself. Cause that, it's a time you had to be really, really precise with it. And that, <laughs> I know how to do it now. I'm Heaven. I am the heart and soul of this place. I keep things running. Um, I am Shariko's boss, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, I'm just honestly here. I assist with everything. I do the social media, um, marketing, um, help answer emails, um, messages, inquiries. I do a lot help with a lot of the production around Co here. Co-owner. Thank you. Not just playing. No, but um, also with a lot of the embroidery, a lot of almost any of the vinyl orders we get, I always you know do those because I know anything embroidered, he's the master of that. So I let him focus on that, and then I'm like, if I can do the sublimation, help out with that, the vinyl. Um, I can't wait to touch our new DTG, our DTF baby. I can't wait. Of course, you know, after the embroidery's done, we clean everything up, make sure all the little pieces that y'all see. You know, that's just from me cutting it. But yeah. So this is about to, once this one's finished, this one's gonna go back on this one, finish doing this other part here. And this one, I'm about to trim this one real quick. This is pretty much technically um, another line of business. Um, now we're going to be able to sell the transfers to the brands, to the clothing stores, to the businesses um, that you know they have the means to make it, to press it. On the other side, they don't have the means to print it. Like this. So people, they don't have press machines. So like they can buy this and press it themselves. It was waiting to keep going. I forgot to change put it on manual. I, I forgot, I forgot to put it on manual. So the reason why I ran over here to do this is because certain colors, they have to have a different color bobbin on them, which is the under, the under thread that the cut that nobody ever even sees, but it's a part of it. So I, depending on the color that I'm embroidering, if I'm doing a light color, I need to have a white bobbin or a light bobbin. If I do a dark color, I need to have a dark bobbin. So as you can see, I have light and dark colors with this piece. So each time the color stops or we change the color, I have to stop my machine, come over, and put a new bobbin in so that way it doesn't affect the color of the actual thread. Because if it's if it's the wrong color, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see the thread on top. And that looks real tacky for the customer, and I don't like that. So that's another part of quality. Like if you want to do it, you gotta do it the right way. And you gotta make sure it's at the customer standards. But again, sometimes you can't please every single person. <laughs> Some people, it'll, 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 it'll look good, and they'll like, yeah, no, I don't like it. And I'm like, okay, um, how can we fix it? Or what is it that you don't like? And then that's when they can't really answer the question. And I just don't know, it's just, and I'm like, okay, so are you looking for something? Or is it really not what you're looking for? But that's, that goes into customer service, that goes into knowing your, knowing your demographic of people that you're dealing with. Because um, I've had every single walk of life, I've had white, black, Hispanic, Asian, uh, Arabic. Um, I'm doing uh, some shirts for a guy uh, who's pro-Palestine and this whole thing is going on. So political stuff, uh, we've done it all. We do all the merchandise for, K all the merchandise for KS-1075. Um, Kaiser, I mean, we did the, uh, the NFL, I mean, sorry, the NBA jacket for um, Paris LeBert that plays for the Cavaliers. Um, one of my big highlights as well, too, I really, really, really like doing that jacket. The, uh, the patch that's on the wall is actually, uh, <laughs> it's actually a mess up. 
So the net, the Nets logo <laughs> was the wrong logo. I finished the whole thing, by the way. Yeah. Finished the finished the entire thing. And I looked and I was like, something about it just doesn't look right. And then I looked and I was like, that's not the Nets logo. That's their old logo. That's, it is the Nets logo, but not their current one. Looking to get some work done? You can hit us up directly on Facebook, QOQ Customs, on Instagram, QOQ Customs as well too. You can hit us up directly via email, QOQ Customs with a Z at gmail.com. And y'all already know, I am the brand man, I am the brand boss, I am Rico. Ooh, we. Are you a business owner that would like to be featured on an episode of Brand Bosses? Send a detailed email to victuals19 at gmail.com. Production fees do apply if selected. Ask me how I did it, I can show you. But the grind takes some time. If you're rushing, it's gonna fold you. Let it mold you, take the 